I want to tell people beware of certain VCR tapes that are on eBay. Some of them are expensive, especially for movies that sure as hell shouldn't be that expensive. I looked at the last latest 007 movie that la that was made on um, VHS, which was Die Another Day. And some people were selling them for nine, ten bucks new, brand new and sealed. I'm saying to myself, that movie is not worth nine, ten bucks new. And, you know, come to find it out, I found some used copies, but of the f four Pierce Brosnan movies for 007, for ten bucks. I just took it upon to get that one. I wasn't going to buy one any more than that. It's not worth spending any more than that. So, um... I'm just telling people right now, you should really look around because some people are outrageous with prices. Some of the Star Wars movies were like $15 to buy brand new. I'm saying to myself, there's something wrong with this picture. Why would someone pay $15 for a tape? Especially if it might be damaged. You're going to say, why pay any money at all? And that's true. But if you're a format person like me, you'll understand. And I look at all the tapes and I say to myself... That's a lot of money. Some of them could go up to hundreds of dollars. Imagine, imagine spending four or five hundred dollars on a VHS tape and then trying to play it and it gets eaten by the VCR. That would be the most horrible experience ever. And you don't know if that's going to happen. It's a random thing. You never know when a VCR is going to destroy your tape. It just happens like that and it's over with. Kind of sucks, doesn't it? Um, so... Luckily, I'm not going to collect any high-profile things. That's what I'm going to reserve for LaserDisc. But I'm going to tell you right now that the VCR tapes can be very expensive, and they're overpriced, some of them. They call them vintage. I'd say, yes, VCR has made it to somewhat of a vintage level. Not entirely, not like LaserDisc, but it's definitely somewhat vintage now. But some of the movies are ridiculously priced and dumb. If you find a VHS movie, like a lot of the 007 movies, they'll be like four or five bucks to buy, which is reasonable, more than worth it. The problem with it is, is that you've got to look at the shipping, and the shipping movies go out pretty far up there. The shipping costs, which make it like $10 total for a movie. No movie that's VHS should be more than five or six bucks total, not counting the tax, of course. Um, but there's a lot of movies that are so expensive. There was a Deep Space Nine VHS, I forgot what it was called, it was an import. I think it was a hundred and something bucks. Oh boy. That's right, oh boy. Alright, well, if you're going to buy VHS, that's how I look at it. Um, I have a lot of VHS tapes, I threw a lot of them away, which was stupid. Some of them I don't regret throwing away, but some of them I kind of feel bad because I felt like I wasted it. I have almost an entire series of, um, not series, season of Star Trek Voyager on VHS. I have the entire season two. I remember I bought it at the time. I should have told the person to buy me season two on DVD, but I don't think DVD DVD came out a little after that. So I I got the VHL. Maybe it didn't. It probably was already on DVD. I got the VHS tapes. I didn't notice till years and years, probably a good ten years later. I noticed. Oops. I look. I counted all the tapes. There's two episodes missing. From this, these VHS tapes. Two. Two whole episodes. I didn't notice till years later. Um, but that's that I guess. Um, they, they, the cardboard really wears out on them too. They're the same kind of cardboard as the one on the DS9 ones. If you care about that. I have a few DS9s that I got from the flea market. Just because I've never had a, had a saw Deep Space Nine on VHS up until this year. Everywhere I've been, flea markets and all, I've never seen a DS9 VHS tape. Um, and it was kind of different, different experience. Well, those are the prices. If you want, I'm just telling you, look around. You'll find deals on stuff. Just buy a used one because odds are they're not going to look perfect if they're brand new because they've been sitting in the tape thing for a long time. Although the last time I had blame on the format of VHS was on when I had GoldenEye and I played it through my converter. Um, no, I played it on the television and it looked like shit. I was blaming the tape for it. Come to find it out, who knows. The tapes look good. If you have a CRT television, everything looks good. If you don't, it looks like shit. It's as simple as that. And unless you've got $2,000 to upscale everything, there's no way you're going to equal what a CRT television looks like with these old films and stuff like that. Bye-bye.